Hey guys, Lawrence here from Fandom.com. I'm joined by Sharon and we're going to be Hi. talking about Avengers Infinity War today, specifically the importance of the green time stone. Yes. Now, if you haven't seen the movie... What's this, wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Everybody did. It was a record-breaking weekend. Spoiler alert, there's going to be some major plot points revealed ahead, so let's dive into it. Yes. So of the six Infinity Stones, the Time Stone ended up proving to be the most important stone in the movie. Yes. Not only was Thanos able to use it to get the last stone by turning right. back time and smashing Vision's head and getting the Soul Stone, but we think that it's going to play a major role in the next film because of its abilities to move the yes. flow of time back and forth. Bring them all back. <laughs> Bring them all back, all the dead people. So for those of you who don't necessarily know the abilities of the Time Stone, obviously it can manipulate time, but also, Doctor Strange used it to look into the future. Yes. And he was able to look at actually 14,605 potential Ooh. outcomes, of which only God. one was one where the Avengers huh. win. I um, got a shot. Right. <laughs> got so, one shot. Um, you know, in the beginning of the movie, he was saying that he would protect the stone at all costs, yes. which is obviously important because you know. And he told want... Tony he wouldn't save him and yeah. he would only save the stone right. if it came down to anything. But when they're on Titan, he actually has a change of mind yes. and he saves Tony, willingly giving the stone over to Thanos. Yes. So you gotta think, Doctor Strange has a plan. He knows what he's doing. I mean, at first you might see it as a, I care about you, Tony. <laughs> Don't kill Tony, but no, I mean, come on. He saw the future. He knows that this is the only way, the one way. There's no other way in order to save the entire universe, possibly bring back everybody, but mainly to save the universe. Right. That's his main concern here. Right. And so he clearly gave the stone away to Thanos willingly in a very calculated manner, knowing that this would save Tony. So now we're kind of in this balance of, is it possible that he might have tampered with the stone right. prior to giving it up to Thanos? Right, because remember Thanos reached for the necklace and the stone wasn't in the necklace. Yes. He was actually holding it in his hand. And let's not forget that Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes. The Time Stone obviously gives him a lot of abilities, but he's also a master magician. Yeah. So I think maybe he did some reversal magic. What do you think right. with the stone? Well, and prior to, you know, the Black Order kept trying to grab it from him. Ebony Maw was trying to get it and it would not budge right. from the necklace either. So you know that there's protective charms, protective ways for them to make sure that this doesn't get into the wrong hands. And so for him to willingly give it into the wrong hands, right. you know that he has to have a plan. There's right. gotta be an end game to all of this. Right. And so I definitely believe that what he saw means that Tony's probably a very important part of that end game too in order to save him and right. not have just given the time stone up prior to that. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is this is huge. Now here's the one caveat with the whole master plan. Doctor Strange is dead. He's not around right. anymore. So dead? clearly, dead? you know, he may have gone somewhere else and I think that somewhere else might play an important role in the upcoming film. Not only the upcoming Avengers film, but also Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel as well. Right, it's kind of up in the air what exactly reality is at this point, especially since Thanos has the reality stone and he's done something with the snap of a finger. Even Thanos is somewhere. Right. We're not really quite sure where he's going On in a some of those Kansas. ways, right? Yeah. yeah. And when he sees little Gamora, you're kind of like, what's going on? And so you kind of believe that since he didn't just basically rip apart all of the Avengers and they just kind of, you know, disintegrated into the air, that they might be in some other dimension somewhere, stuck, like yeah. another reality. Or another realm, possibly totally. the quantum realm that we've been teased exactly. so much. And that maybe, is it possible that they're also at work wherever they are? Like maybe Strange is going to be able to figure out a way to help them in some, some weird way. Just trying to give some hope after all the tears from yeah. coming out. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think this idea of two groups, the living and the not living, working yes. together in conjunction to save the universe from Thanos is a, definitely a real possibility. We're not gonna see the next movie just be with Tony right. and Rhodey yes. and, and Natasha. I mean, they're cool yes. characters, but it's a big ensemble film. Absolutely. You can't ignore 50% of the population. And we also got, you know, the Ant-Man name drop in Infinity War. And so we're going to get Ant-Man and the Wasp this summer. And mind you, it's after Civil War, prior to Infinity War events. Right. We got a nice, huge, like, 
big red flag about Quantum Realm in the latest trailer. MCU is way too calculated for this not to end up leading up to something. So I feel like we're going to learn a lot more about Quantum Realm. Maybe Ant-Man and the Wasp will be able to figure out a little bit more control over yeah. it. And then leading into Captain Marvel, you know, she's one of the biggest, baddest Marvel superheroes of all time. And she has time travel like down. So I feel like this is all going to just lead up to something great. While also we still have Tony alive, yeah. Cap alive, Thor, who's now the most powerful Avenger after surviving the blast of a star. Yeah. And he has a weapon that can actually kill Thanos if he smashed him in the head. Right. But Come between all of them, we have Shuri and Banner, like right. the intelligence and the strength and then the quantum realm, all together, like, yeah. they gotta figure it out. Yeah, and let's not forget Wong, because yes. Wong is still, yes. I, we think, alive as well. So there is that magic <laughs> aspect. Yes. You know, you're talking about- Just sitting back with popcorn waiting right. for his time to shine. We were talking about Stormbreaker a little bit and the weapon that can kill Thanos, but let's not forget when we saw the forge in Eitri the dwarf, right. there was that mold for another infinity gauntlet. So at the end of the movie, we saw that the gauntlet was definitely cracked. Yep. You know, using its power definitely was a real stressor on the gauntlet. So my theory, and this is a, a bit of a wild one, is that, you know, when you really think about a gauntlet, a gauntlet is a piece of armor. And who wears armor in the MCU? Iron Man. So I think that in the end, because we're at the end of Robert Downey Jr contract and he's been yep. doing this role for a long time <laughs> yes. and ultimately I think it's gonna be Iron Man somehow he's gonna get that gauntlet and with all the help of everybody else Captain Marvel included turn back time yeah. or alter reality and bring back the 50% that were killed right what do you think totally agree I think Iron Man's gonna be a huge key in all of this because he's our OG ten years ago it all started with this man and I think it would be a beautiful end to have him be the one that takes it all out along with the help of this entire squad that we've all grown to right. love and cherish the right. past 10 years as well. And so, yeah, I think I think it's definitely gonna be him. I think it's gonna be a little switcheroo from the end of Infinity War where we have our OG squad Alive. still. Alive, yeah. And then all of the people contracted for phase four are gone. So we gotta get them back and then we can probably say a heartfelt goodbye to all of the people that we've grown to love over the past uh, many, many years. The past 10 years. Yes. That was actually gonna be my final question for you, Sharon. Do you think that the fake out Tony Stark death in Infinity War is gonna be leading up to his death in the next movie? Yes. I think, I think he's gonna go out with a bang and hopefully not like, Totally, literally, but I think he's, yeah, I think this is going to be his moment. I think the end game is probably going to be Tony's end. Yeah. Um, sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Pepper, your wedding plans. <laughs> you know, he didn't seem like he was a commitment type anyway. No, I so. think Tony realizes that, you know, he's become the hero that, that nobody thought that he really was supposed to be. Even, yeah. even going back to Avengers, you know, Cap was really challenging him that he's too selfish, he's got a big ego, and he would never lay it on the line, even though in Avengers he really did, but now he's really come into that place. So who do you think is gonna make the ultimate sacrifice in the next movie? Sharon, you think it's gonna be the original three, Thor, Cap, and of course, Tony Stark. Yes, absolutely. And I think that because Captain Marvel is going to help them so much that she's going to end up becoming the new squad leader. I'd like that, a female-led squad. Share your thoughts on Twitter at getfandom.com. Thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.